Good morning, St. Rock. It's January the 8th, 2021. This is your morning reflection. So if you've been watching the news lately, you can know that there is a lot going on in the world today. A lot of distrust, misinformation, hatred, greed, and just overall selfishness. The news is filled with it. The bottom line is that we can't trust those that we entrusted with power because they may be the ones feeling all this selfishness. We say we are all in this together, but it's hard to see that we aren't always in this together. So we have to ask ourselves, where do we go from here? How do we start to turn around this topsy-turvy merry-go-round of life and have it spin in a direction, in a direction that is life-giving and sustaining? Simple, be a channel of peace. On Wednesday, the Speaker of the United States House of Representatives, Nancy Pelosi, spoke about being peacemakers as she quoted St. Francis' famous peace prayer. And she's not too far off. Sometimes, when all we may crave or desire is peace, and we are told that it starts with us, we usually get bogged down with the whole, but I'm just one person. But if just one person became a model of peace and modeled that behavior, more people will follow. So, how are you a channel of peace? Do you sow love out of hatred? Hope from despair? Darkness from light? Let's continue to be the light of the mind and light of the world. Lux mentis, lux orbis. I'll end this week with the peace prayer by St. Francis. And please, pray along and listen to the words. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Injury, pardon. Doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope, darkness, light, and sadness, joy. O oh, Divine Mas Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. St. Francis and St. Rock, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great Friday and a great weekend. Take care.